The Hubble Space Telescope has been silently hovering above Earth for over 25 years, but it's still returning spectacular images of the cosmos. That's an amazing technological achievement. Most of the famous Hubble images were taken with the Wide Field and Planetary Camera 2 and the Wide Field Camera 3. The Wide Field and Planetary Camera 2 was replaced with the Wide Field and Planetary Camera 3 during the final Hubble service mission in 2009, and it has even greater optical resolution. Some images were also taken with the Advanced Camera for Surveys, which replaced the original Feigned Object Camera in 2002. Since it's outside Earth's murky atmosphere, the Hubble Space Telescope can see farther and more clearly than any astronomical instrument before. While it's reaching the end of its mission, we can never forget the wondrous sights it brought us. To celebrate Hubble's quarter century in space, we've assembled our 25 favorite images. This image is of a young stellar grouping called R136, only a few million years old, and situated in the 30 Doritus Nebula. The nebula itself is a turbulent star birth region in the Large Magellanic Cloud, a satellite galaxy of our Milky Way. Several of those blue, diamond-like stars are over 100 times more massive than our Sun and are destined to become supernovas in a few million years. This region of the Carina Nebula is known as Mystic Mountain. In this composite image we see the chaotic activity atop a three-light-year tall pillar of gas and dust that is being eaten away by the brilliant light from nearby bright stars. Jets of gas are also being fired from within the pillar by infant stars. A pair of interacting galaxies called ARP 273. The larger of the spiral galaxies, known as UGC 1810, has a disk that is distorted into a rose-like shape by the gravitational tidal pull of the companion galaxy below it, known as UGC 1813. A rare moon transit of Saturn, which allowed Hubble to capture the shadow of the giant orange moon Titan on Saturn's north polar hood. Below Titan and to the left is the moon Mimas, casting a much smaller shadow onto Saturn's equatorial cloud tops. Farther to the left, and off Saturn's disk, are the bright moon Dian and the fainter moon Enceladus. In 2002, this star, V838 Monoceratus, suddenly brightened for several weeks. The images captured by Hubble revealed an effect called a light echo and showed never-before-seen dust patterns in surrounding cloud structures. Called SNR050967.5, this delicate-looking bubble of gas is the visible remnant of a powerful stellar explosion in the Large Magellanic Cloud, a small galaxy about 160,000 light-years from Earth. It is 23 light-years across and is expanding at more than 11 million miles per hour, 5,000 kilometers per second. This is an iconic Hubble image. The so-called Pillars of Creation. Taken in 1995, the picture revealed never-before-seen details of three giant columns of cold gas, bathed in the scorching ultraviolet light from a cluster of young, massive stars in a small region of the Eagle Nebula. The Hubble's image of the Ring Nebula, the glowing shroud around a dying sun-like star. The pictures Hubble was able to capture allowed astronomers to construct a precise three-dimensional model of the glowing gas shroud, called a planetary nebula. Although the celestial object looks like a butterfly it has at its heart a dying star that was once about five times the mass of our sun. The wings are gas, heated to more than 36,000 degrees Fahrenheit, and traveling across space at more than 600,000 miles an hour. Fast enough to travel from Earth to the moon in 24 minutes. This composite image of the Crab Nebula was assembled from 24 individual exposures. It is one of the largest images taken by Hubble and is the highest resolution image ever made of the entire Crab Nebula, a six-light-year white expanding remnant of a star's supernova explosion. Jupiter's atmosphere is full of storm activity, including the legendary anticyclone called the Great Red Spot. The Great Red Spot has been raging for at least a hundred years was once so large that three Earths would fit inside it. Hubble's measurements, however, have revealed that it is now only the width of one Earth but it's still the largest storm in our solar system. These bright blue, newly formed stars are blowing a cavity in the center of a star-forming region in the small Magellanic Cloud. The Monkey Head Nebula is a region of star birth located 6,400 light-years away. This image captures knots of gas and dust silhouetted against glowing gas. Ultraviolet light from massive, newly formed stars is sculpting dust within the nebula into giant pillars. The so-called Cat's Eye Nebula has more than a passing resemblance to the Eye of Sauron from Lord of the Rings. The nebula is formally catalogued as NGC 6543 and is one of the most complex such nebulae seen in space. 
astronomers using the Hubble Space Telescope have captured the most comprehensive picture ever assembled of the evolving universe and one of the most colorful. Messier 92 is located in the northern constellation of Hercules and comprises a ball of stars that orbits a galactic core like a satellite. It is one of the brightest and oldest globular clusters in the Milky Way, containing some 330,000 stars. 30 Doritus is the brightest star-forming region in our galactic neighborhood and home to the most massive stars ever seen. No known star-forming region in our galaxy is as large or as prolific as 30 Doritus. The star cluster Pismus 24 lies in the core of the large emission nebula NGC 6357. The bluest stars are the youngest, and part of the nebula is ionized by them. The ultraviolet radiation from the blazing stars heats the gas surrounding the cluster. A detailed look at the remains of a supernova explosion known as Cassiopeia A. It is the youngest known remnant from a supernova explosion in the Milky Way. This Hubble image shows R.S. Puppis, a type of star known as a Cepheid variable. Unusually, this star is shrouded by thick dark clouds of dust, enabling a light echo to be shown with stunning clarity. This galaxy is nicknamed the Whirlpool because of its swirling structure. Young stars reside in the curving spiral arms, whereas the yellowish core is the home of older stars. This image is of NGC 1300, considered to be a prototypical barred spiral galaxy. Barred spiral galaxies do not spiral all the way into the center, but are connected to the two ends of a straight bar of stars. This is NGC 7049 in the constellation of Indus, in the southern sky. The lacy web is a series of dust lanes, backlit by the millions of stars in the halo. One of the largest Hubble mosaics ever assembled, this shows the picturesque Sombrero Galaxy. This magnificent galaxy has an apparent diameter that is nearly one-fifth the diameter of the full moon. Stefan's Quintet is found in the constellation Pegasus. It's a visual grouping of five galaxies, of which four form the first compact galaxy group ever discovered. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like the video then make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications.